Hunting the Giant's Daughter is the story of a young man who has to go and find the woman of his dreams with the help of King Arthur, faces and overcomes many obstacles on the way. However, it's about many, many more things as well. In performance terms, it's about people coming together to hear an age-old story told today for people of today. But it's also about the landscape and then the inhabited landscape. It's about people, it's about animals, it's about inner nature, it's about the seasons, it's about the turning year, and it's about that whole panoply of things that make up our world with a love story at its heart. And there she stayed in the wind and the rain, and her skin became bruised and scratched and scabbed. Her hair grew long and matted, and all the time the little life grew inside her. All of the songs that I sing in Hunting the Giant's Daughter are traditional Welsh folk songs. Although the language itself might not be comprehensible to every member of the audience, it's music and it's about feelings and emotion. The skin was whiter than the foaming wave. The hands were paler than the budding flowers by the living spring. I love my job. I love being the musician in this show. Um, we've got a beautiful singer and she sings beautifully and I love the songs, but sometimes I don't know what's going to happen musically in some of the sections. And that's so exciting to me as a musician because then what's happened then by the end of the night is something brand new just for that night. language was really like poetry and, and brought out a sort of flavour of the epic story which we had and yet underneath that there was the kind of, you know, that was sort of in your gut kind of feeling of are they going to get there, how are they going to do it, where's the story going to go. We were incredibly impressed with the whole thing with the the music, the story, the, the whole atmosphere and the whole it experience. It was absolutely brilliant. He wrote a huge beast of a story and wow, it was great. 